pregnancy. And inside, I'm thinking, if I wait, will it form? Will a heartbeat come? You know, all this goes through your head. And obviously, it didn't. I said, well, what am I going to do? He said, well, I said, you know, I've got the marathon as well, because all this was going in my head. And he said, well, we can terminate it tonight. So I had to be there, I had to be put to sleep and have well, it terminated. What was going through your mind when you said this? Well, I'd half thought it, it would be all right, you know, and I thought, you know, I've, I've lost another baby and it was just so confusing. My head was just like, because obviously I didn't have a good trip in America, I wasn't at a good place, I've got a baby, I, I couldn't wait to get back home to get a scan. I couldn't do it in America because everywhere we went, we'd get followed by paparazzi and I didn't want them to see me go in to have a scan. Um, so then that night I had to have a termination. And then, so the lead up to the marathon, you know, even the day we'd done the press call, you know, when you've had an anaesthetic, it knocks you anyway. Well, Let's know emotionally, I'm thinking, oh my God, because we wanted the baby and it had died and there was nothing I could do about it. How did, how did Pete react to the fact that the baby died? He was gutted. He was absolutely gutted. I won't kid you, Katie, I'm shocked by this. No, but I think... Everyone's going to be absolutely No, but I don't, I, you know, by I what never wanted to say anything. My, my point is, I'm not here to slag Pete off, but people have got to understand. In the two weeks I come back from America, I, had, I was pregnant, we thought we were going to have a baby, but the baby died. Four days later, I'm thinking, do I run the marathon? It's dangerous to run when you're bleeding that much. You can get a blood clot. And I thought, I can't let anyone down. So even the day of the marathon... I'm running along, I keep going to the toilet because I keep checking to see if I'm bleeding and stuff. Um, and then obviously my knee goes and I'm thinking of Harvey, I'm trying to keep myself together, not to cry. I just wanted to say to people, just leave me alone, I've, ju I've just lost a baby, I'm bleeding, I'm trying to run, I'm trying my best, but I can't say it because you know it's private. Um, and what, why have you not revealed this before? I was never, I was never going to say it because it's not really anyone's business and people might think well why are you saying it now you're trying to get sympathy the answer is no I'm not trying to get sympathy but I'm fed up that I've been battered in the papers for eight weeks and everyone thinks that Pete's this saint and I'm this devil I'm not saying I've been innocent the whole way through you know in the papers or anything like that but people got to understand even emotionally for anyone whether you're in the media or not to have a baby die run the marathon which is also a big thing on your body just because you're seen with a picture, you, your husband divorces you and wants a divorce to split up. So luckily I've got good family and friends around me that have just been there for me. But, OK, the baby thing really upset me because, you know, it's a life and it's died. The peak thing I can deal with, the, the split, that I can deal with because I've always... I'm so good at emotionally talking to myself. If a guy says to me, I don't want to know you, doesn't matter if it's my husband or any guy, I will not beg them, I will not hang around. Life is too short. I'm not going to beg. I did say to Pete, come and see me, wasn't interested. Even in this whole eight weeks, I said, do you want mediation, Pete? Nothing. Do you want to meet me? Nothing. I don't want sympathy, but I do not want to get in a tit for tat. This is the only interview I'm going to do on me and Pete, the split. I'm not going to go and do magazine stuff. I'm not interested in doing that. It's just that I feel I need to say my say, enough's enough, and, and that's it, really. I mean, did you have mixed feelings about the baby, given the state of your marriage, or did you, were you looking forward to it? Were you looking forward to having another baby, or did you think this could be a real problem? For I us? absolutely love children, and being a single parent mum does not bother me in the absolute slightest. I've done it before, I can do it again. Um, I'm financially secure, I've got the family and friends around me, the love, the support. Um, so no, it wouldn't have bothered me if, well, I never thought we would end, I never thought our marriage would end, but the fact is it did. Um, but before that, I thought we'd still be together. I can't live like that. If it means my career ends because I've gone to Ibiza, then so be it. Everything comes to an end. Once the divorce is over, who knows, I could be married next summer again. Really? I am on the market. Bring it on, Pricey. <laughs> That's what I say.